Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Howard Moxon, an international antiquities trader who specializes in selling priceless art to finance terrorist organizations. He is currently involved in the sale of the Ivory White, a filigree egg looted during the Second World War. The client has requested that you both eliminate the target and locate and retrieve the original Ivory White. This priceless artifact is most likely in one of the museum's safes. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to the seventh reactivated elusive target. This is the broker. This is done Sergeant Assassin suit only. This is the walkthrough for it. So, with the reactivated this really early, uh, I'm pretty sure it was a bug that got released with the featured contracts that probably came out today. And uh, for, some, for whatever reason, it's still available now. So, if you haven't played this yet, this is the reason why I'm releasing this video now. But I'm pretty sure it's still going to get released next week, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. But from this point, you've only got about 15 hours left, so make sure you get on it quick if you want to complete it now. So just before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like on the video. It likes do help out quite a lot. So let's try and reach a thousand likes just like we did in the previous Lucid Target video. So uh, for this one, you want to bring along the lock pick stored in the basement uh, stairwell. Bring along your pistol, your model lethal syringe, and your coin. You're going to bring it. Uh, going to start in the red carpet location, which is the default location. So if you're a mastery level one, you have no equipment unlocked. You will have these three items still available from the beginning, because they're default items. So from the start, what we have to do is go ahead and pick up the lock pick. That's just under the staircase. So if you want to come into here, you go into the door just underneath the stairs, and just to your left is going to be the smuggling point. And once you've grabbed that, you're going to need to go and find the broker now. And the broker is going to be either in this area over here, you know, on that pillar, or he's going to be tying his shoelace right there, or he's going to be walking out through that door, or he's going to be coming through this door here to our left. Now, he has different routes to go into the area where we want to. So just before we start following him, we want to grab this VIP pass, because that's quite important. We're going to need that for a little bit later. So we need to go and retrieve the egg a little bit later as well. Uh, so we're going to wait for him right now. So what we have to do is follow this target all the way around until you get to the location where I'm about to show you. This can take several minutes because every single time you restart it, he will take a different route to these locations every single time. So I found uh, I found a, uh, a route that he will always go after, despite all these different random routes he takes. But he will always go down this area once you have followed him to it. So what you want to do is just follow him around until you get to this point. So we're just going to fast forward while we follow him around, just to show you a general idea where he actually goes. So after a while of following him around, it, like I said, he could he could be lucky for you guys and he come over here straight away. But if you have to follow him around, eventually he does come over here and start walking in this direction. And once he starts walking this direction, just make sure this waiter's not looking at you at the time. He's going to come over here for a smoke. All we want to do is go ahead and drop your pistol on the floor. And once you do that, he's going to see the gun on the floor right there. And he's going to go and tell his bodyguard about it. His bodyguard's going to remove it out of the area, which gives us a free run at taking this target out nice and easily. So he's going to remove the gun out of the area. Now, like I said, the timing is going to be different for you guys, because obviously his routes are random every single time. And not always is he going to come down here for a smoke. Sometimes he'll make his phone call here like he's doing on my screen. So at this point, what you want to do is just wait for the guard to go past you, if this is the case for you. And then we're going to go ahead and bump into him right there, drop a coin, immediately pick that up and throw it over towards that area over there. If you're doing that correctly, he will go over towards the area where the coin is going to be. And then you want to pull out your syringe and then syringe him. Just make sure that no one is looking at you or no one is around you at this location. I just waited a little brief moment for this guy to walk past first. Again, it's going to be different for you guys because he won't probably won't be there on your screen. So just make sure that no one's around that area at the time, no one looking at you, and you can go ahead and syringe him with a lethal poison syringe. So like I said, on most of the occasions he goes over there for a smoke anyway, so he will always go down that route anyway, so uh, you know, just keep that in mind. 
uh, he would he will eventually go down that route anyway. So once you've taken this guy out, you can leave his body there because it's a poison kill. Even if it was found, it won't affect your score. We're going to use the VIP pass that we picked up before to enter these two, get to the past these two checkpoints right here. We have a third and final checkpoint just upstairs. There is we are going to get frisked as well. So just double check in your inventory. Make sure you have no uh, frisk. You know any any items that could be detected through a frisk. Sorry, just double check sir, that. But you should only oh, have your sir. coins on your lockpick on you at this point in time. So once you've got past this frisk point right here, we're going to head straight up the stairs and into the attic just to the left. We're going to enter Dahlia's bathroom and in there we're going to create a couple of distractions to try and take away the two bodyguards are in this room. Again, the timing will probably be completely different to you, but the route and the strategy is going to be exactly the same. So as you can see there, body found on the screen, but it was a poison kill, don't, don't forget, so it ain't going to affect your score. So once you're in this bathroom right here, we're going to turn on this uh, little clock radio, and we're going to hide behind this um, closet right here. Now the guard's going to come in, and he's going to be looking left, he's going to be looking right, and eventually he will look straight forward and go to turn the radio clock radio off. And that's when we want to go ahead and subdue him. Because if you do it too early, he will spot you because they're head turning. So just keep that in mind. So as soon as he goes to turn it off, that's when you want to go ahead and subdue him. And once you've done that, we're just going to dump his body in the closet. Now, in, at this particular point in time, you want to distract the other guard that's in the room. However, Dahlia on my screen is in this room. And she can take a while to finish this conversation. Like I said, if the timing is completely different to you, she probably won't even be in this room. So in which case, you can just skip ahead, obviously. But for you guys that are actually, if she is in the room and she's having this conversation, you unfortunately just have to wait this whole thing out and just wait for her to leave the room. So I'll skip to the point where she actually finishes yabbering on. So now she's finally leaving, we can finally get on with creating this second distraction. Now, I originally planned to turn this clock radio on and create a second distraction, but the clock radio didn't work because he was too far away. So what you want to do is turn on this sink right here and overflow the sink. And again, hide behind this little closet right here. The guard is going to come in after the distraction and he's going to spot the rifle that is on the floor. Now the rifle came from the previous bodyguard that we subdued a little bit earlier. So he's going to take this gun out of the area and um, take it into the attic. So it gives us plenty of time to get in the room, get in the safe and get the egg that's just in, inside the safe. So again, you can go ahead and unlock this with the lockpick. I'm not completely sure where the key is. Apparently the key is it's somewhere in his room, I'm not sure where. But uh, you want to go ahead and grab the egg. Well, and once you've grabbed the ivory, right, ivory white, sorry, you can go ahead and finish the mission any way you want to. I decided to take the main entrance exit because, you know, it's the safest uh, exit out of all of them. You will be no, you'll be nowhere near any cameras or any enforcers. So I always find when you go and do these loose of target, but at least of targets, uh, when you want to do these strategies, just make sure you take the main entrance exit because it's always the easiest one and it's always the most risk-free, safest route. Because the last thing you want at this point is running into an enforcer and messing this whole thing up. Just keep in mind, guys, that once you complete one of these objectives by taking out either take, taking out the target or grabbing the ivory white first, whichever one you get you get first, make sure you realise that you cannot restart once you have done that. Perhaps I should have said that at the start of the video, but I, I forgot I completely. But uh, nevertheless, as long as you've followed exactly what I've done here, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, if, if you do run into any problems, just make sure you just uh, click restart if you encounter any problems. That's why I took out the target first, because that's the most tricky part. And the ivory white, getting that is just so easy, so you shouldn't have any problems with that either. But again, as usual, just uh, leave a comment in the comment section if you do have any, encounter any issues here. I'll try and answer the questions as best as possible. And But this will get you a silent assassin rating. It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter how long it takes. Um, for, the, for me, it took about 12 minutes. Yes, 12 minutes here, yeah, because I had to follow him around quite a lot. Uh, but it, it could be diff the time could be halved for you guys, so if you're lucky. So that's going to do it for this video. So hopefully this has helped you out. Feel free to drop a like on this video. Let's get a thousand likes. And uh, subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.